path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. That's what I'm here for, to deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remembered the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road.
I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. Oh, nothing so unusual and so interesting as you and your companions, I'm sure. Dwarven merchants are common enough on these roads, aren't they? There's knights from Redcliffe wandering the countryside, looking for the place where Andreste's sacred ashes are said to lie. Can you believe that? The urn holding her ashes is a myth. And yet these knights say they were sent to find it anyhow to heal Aralene. I didn't even know he was ill. Maybe he has a blight. If so, then times are even darker for Ferelden than any of us thought. That's what I've heard on the road anyhow. Take it for what it is. Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. Goodbye. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Enchantment! You little... Me harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Oh, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Hey! Uh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hare is not something a woman wants to find in